The iconic 80s Pacers reverb just got a major upgrade. That brings two very interesting new features. Let's check them out. Okay, let's start with the impulse response window, which is right here. In previous versions, you had to click the arrows to listen to the different impulse responses. You couldn't see them really. Since version 2.3, we added this feature where you click on the name and you've got all of the impulse responses right here in front of you. Moreover, we added filters so that you can, for example, if, you're, if you need like a room with a long tail, well, you've got them right here. Or maybe you want to have only iconic 24 and iconic 48 reverbs. Here they are right in front of you. So that makes it much easier to browse the impulse responses. You can also right click on that name and you will have a new window which might be more convenient for you. It's a bigger window and again you can filter and that makes it really easy to use. Okay, in practice this is very different from using the presets. Um, as you know the 80 Spaces has really well organized presets and there's a bunch of them for drums, for vocals, blah blah blah, etc. So let's say that I use a drum preset right here and I've got this. So maybe I want a bigger pre-delay and a gate, a strong gate here, and I'm gonna high cut. So that is my setting right now. And from there, I can click on that window and listen to different impulse responses while keeping the settings of the preset, which is super convenient. Let's listen. Okay, that's all good stuff, but wait, there's more. Today, we announced version 2.4 of the 80 Spaces Reverb, and that brings 50 new impulse responses, three new models, and 30 new presets, carefully crafted by my friend Sab Kinoni at Morvox. But he had another great idea, and the devs integrated that. Let's check it out. Okay, so you can notice that we've added that very discreet eight little note here, and another one here on the gate, which means that from now on you can set the pre-delay and gate not only with values such as milliseconds and seconds, but based on the BPM with values such as, you know, 1 16th note, 1 8th note, dotted, triplets, etc. And that is a game changer. Let's see what we can do with it. Take me wrong, I'm no sound engineer Ooh. This is the thing that can make it sound clean Give it a try and you'll know what I mean Just give it a try and you'll know how I 